守りに来たんだこっちは俺に任せておけ You ever bumped into anybody running around the corner? Not like in anime. <laughs> not, not, not prototypical. <laughs> mystery files contain detailed information on events, characters, and important terminology. Use mystery points to acquire. Acquired in destruction. Okay,、uh, hold on. Use mystery, mystery points acquired in destruction, capital D, which appears to be some sort of phase. Uh, to gain access to sealed mystery files. Okay.、Right. The design of this HUD is a DNA sequence.、Mm -hmm. Just whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it in mind that we're looking at a strand of DNA. Alright. Big lore. That's definitely super intentional.、Uh, okay. So. Juro Kurabe. As the pro、uh, story progresses, these files provide answers to mysteries related to individuals and incidents that occur. You can unlock these answers by completing the pro protagonist's events, receiving them as battle rewards, and by using the mystery points you obtain through fighting Kaichu. Okay, so we do have a sort of like grounding point to come back and review our information. And there's the R2 for event a l l events. So you can go character by character and see. This might be the entire timeline, including everyone's shit together. Yeah. And then we've got character specific. Oh, and then new names. Oh my god, why are、yeah, you、okay. new names? Yeah, okay. New names, new names, new names, new names. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, got it. All right. <laughs> oh, I would have locked these pages. Yeah, probably. But、uh, what's a name, right?、Uh, so. Juro Kurabe, 16 year old boy from Sakura High School. Sakura High School, alright. Loves B movies, enjoys watching Kaiju videos at night, soft spoken and good natured. He feels something off about his everyday life. And one day finds himself summoning a giant robot for real? Damn. Okay. And we gotta spend points to choose what we wanna unseal, mind you. So we don't just get this info right away at, at no cost.、Uh, okay. That's the mystery files. Event archive. View events in chronological order and replay each event. Yes, this is the page. So, this is the、saw. other page, yes. Okay, well, what we've done so far is right here. <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> Number 287. <laughs> Mind you. <laughs> this、ah. is not、ah. the beginning. Yep. Or is it? Yep. <laughs> you know, it all began in 85, where the final battle begins. <laughs> Kept on going till fucking whatever, 20 XTX, maybe 21. And more importantly, the buildup of events leading to where we started. Dude, there are so many b r o Okay. Yeah. All right. Just for the context, by the way. And then, where did we actually. Oh, Sentinel 13 activate. Does it mention the protocol? No. It does I, not mention it. We go to the shopping district. Juro Kurabe meets Keitaro Miura at the shopping district, touches his forehead, activates Sentinel number 13, meddles with Kurabe's Kutashiba. That's the friend. Meddles with the memories after saying something meaningful as if he knows what happened. Okay, well, they give you that much. Yeah. I think he said, I think, he, I feel like he said Ozami or something with an O、okay. protocol, right? O protocol of some kind is, is what comes to mind.、Um, and thir yeah, 13 you know, I'm actually looking forward to filling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going all the way to back to the actual beginning, which is down here. Where、yes. George Kurabe witnesses Yuri Fusaka enter Sentinel 15. Oh, wait, damn it. There's more than 13 of them. Okay, well, fuck. Title over. When they showed Sentinel 15, when Yuri was in it, I was like, the title says 13.、What's、I didn't even I didn't even notice. I noticed when he showed up in 13. Okay. But I didn't even catch that she was in 15. Yeah.、Uh, so, yeah. All right. Okay. 
Not that there's a whole lot to process already, but eat your fucking hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Just start with this. Start munching on these. The 13 course Shall meal. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um. You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Mm. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. I was not a crepe guy. And then one time I had one flambe with chartreuse poured over it. Oh, okay. Bruh. <laughs> mm. What is this? My heart is racing. <gasps> Doki Doki. Doki. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Yeah, different breed. School of hard knocks. Deep voice. Jeez, that door was impossible to open. Yo, that stance. How old is this place? Confidence. Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. Haircut. I didn't. There's a lot in the stance, isn't there? A lot. There's a lot in a stance. An idle stance tells you a lot. You're you're correct. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Natsuno Minami. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. <laughs> I heard it was built during the war. Oh. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Also tallest. By at least a little bit. Yes. Yeah, we're standing on the same parallel. Shortest to tallest, yeah. Is it your class next door, not Chun? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Oh, okay. Okay. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Wow, it's like you're moving to a new school. Yep. Like, actually, like, okay. Yeah, right, right. Names, faces, voices, etc. Except everything is, like, washed out Minami by beautiful light. There you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Chairperson. Yeah, I know. Class prez. Incho. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Oh, I wonder if it's the same son. cat. Of course yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Like, look at this Van Gogh chalkboard. <laughs> like, oh, this entire si anything. like, like looking at like even when it's lit, like it's your protractors and your compass set. And the brush strokes on the wood on the wall and whatever like the the old school chalk compass where you, you put the, yeah. the thing on the board and draw the full circle like wow I think I know that kitty do you Miwako it has black fur with a white belly right you've seen it too Miwachan yeah Time. dang no fair I haven't seen it yet so it's behind the science room huh it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. Add this music to the cozy, the cozy home theme playlist. Yeah, definitely. This is a theme of theme of snuggle up. Get a nice no blanket. No care in the world. Yeah, yeah. Putting this on the list. Break time. 
Kitty! I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Turn your head, idiot. <laughs> Give her a moment. Oh! I found you! Hi, Kitty! Oh, no, the kitty's gonna turn into a mech. You say that! <laughs> Huh? More like the catalyst to, be, to to summoning, if anything, the Luna, mm. the Luna to the situation. But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. Mm. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun. This isn't like you. Just listen, okay? That building is fucking old. Yep. Look at it. Planks. This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? I want to pursue this with you. Please. Oh. I don't know. It's just... Huh. Fuyusaka-san? What is she doing here? I... Uh, um, I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. Please look forward to story 11, where the moment is clarified to just be a good old misunderstanding. Classic anime misdirection. Of course. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 what? Uh, no, we were... It's the end of the world, I swear. Outs, <laughs> shout outs to School Rumble. Where there's a character who walks in on a situation, and it's super embarrassing for everyone involved, and they're all like, "Oh, what?" And the car, and she's just like, "Oh, no, wait, I got it. This happened, and then that happened, and then I walked in right as I was seeing this, and then that's why this seems to be this, but it's actually that." And everyone's like, "Yeah, that's actually it." <laughs> like, oh. Cool. All, all right. right cool. Later. <laughs> and I was like, "Yes, yes, <laughs> best. Love this thing. Great. Fuck yeah." <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, no, trope, got it. Oh, no, okay. I, yeah, right. as you were. What? Don't mind me. Bye. Wait, there seems to have been a misunderstanding. Wow, Jiro. <laughs> me and this guy dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. Massive blush intensifies. Yeah. We were just talking about something. Oh, there it goes. I mean, Gucci yeah, is like, yeah, it's really way too basic for me. Right? Flops his hair. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> dreams? Right. Strange dreams. Oh, we got... Okay, two greens, one red, one triangle. So... Uh... We got two considerations to make. Right. Uh, we have one link. Okay, so I think then... The triangle pops up as soon as anything is on this menu. And I think the the greens and the reds are telling us what type of... How, how many there are. Yeah, I think the two greens are the two consideration. Yeah. And the red is the link. The one link. Yeah, so, so the triangle on its own is just, hey, there's stuff. Yeah. And then what type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Either that or he gave you the power to summon some rad shit. Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So what are these dreams? Well, lately... It's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Shirt untucked. Tongue outside of the shoe. Jacket open. Button down. Hair fuzzed up. Cash. Hey. Cash. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. Like, the fact that the shoes are different means they didn't fucking get lazy, by the way. Just 
keep yeah. notice that they didn't get lazy on the on the student body types because you could have easily yeah, just the done, legs are different could have just done the same shit body types the more he tells me the more i think it all lines up head swapping is way too easy different know? lighting too on the, sh on the stuff it's cool makes you think our dreams are connected Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh... Okay, there's got to be a way to, to go faster, right? Yeah, to just hit. What if you find the character that you're looking for? Uh, yeah. Okay, um, wait one second. Yep, yep, and yep, okay. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Little brisk jog. Okay. 3-3. Three, three. 14. Oh. Okay. Wave 2. Tutorial. Beginning of the end. We're going at least seven waves deep. Okay, back to the future. <laughs> May 27th. Have you seen Memento? A long time ago. Okay. Fuyasaka-san. Everything How are you at piecing you shit like that together? Uh, usually everywhere. takes me a bit. But... I think I prefer my you got your notebook. You stay on the silver screen. Without my notebook? Yeah, usually I'm on point with this. But this Looks time like I don't want to take any way. chances. Can you, get your Sentinel up? Yeah, well, you see, the difference is, is that Memento was an hour and a half. Yeah. Not 30. Right. <laughs> I'll try, but I think it might be broken in some places. Their little cards on the on the title uh, above their units like remind me specifically of the back of a G.I. Joe toy box art. Wow. A very particular thing. I just I'm just hit with that. Anyway, Fuck yeah. With that kind of weight, it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. Okay. Goto is the dude who is aware and yeah. commanding. And it's like, do this and do that. Don't and, worry about it. And previously got his nut stomped on a little bit. <laughs> D-forces. You keep talking about them like that. What are these D-forces? Daimos. They're the kaiju. Okay, so literally the shit from the movies. Mm -hmm. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. 
the fiction of this world with the memory losses made to prepare you so that even in 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 going to see the movies and checking out random fake stuff it's yeah. all it's all preparation for what's to come shotgun <laughs> <laughs> stand the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D-forces would be completely locked out. That's gotta be the Aegis system Ms. Morimura was talking about. But is it even safe to use? We're only using it to buy time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D-Force's invasion point. Invasion point? You mean where the Kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Make it in the terminal, which is the invader's target. Okay. So we have a control box for them. Maybe a little bit of, uh, X-1999. Choose a sentinel to move. Choose where you want to go. Press X to start moving. Uh, okay. Let me make a save in this. That's fair. Section. Got some meta chips. Yeah. So let's just see here. Okay. We can do this, right? What now? R one L one. Hot selects the units. Uh. Zoom in, zoom out. City, 99%. Okay. R3 pauses. Oh. So, for some reason, there's a pause feature. And L3 does nothing. And then, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, I like how they even put the tutorial stuff in the log. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Defense charge. Okay, so you can regain some EPs so to do the attacks. If stuff. you think, yeah, if you just want, exactly, you have a defend option and uh, gain some EP. Cool. Yeah, and we didn't get to see what the breakdown of, like, HP or shields or stuff like that is yet. But we'll find out. Um, yeah, I think HP is your health and EP is spent to do the attacks with the EP is like, like action points. Normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like AP in other situations. Maybe energy uh, points or something. I don't know. We are able to move. Wow. Okay. You can, you can route quite a bit. Yeah, even between, uh... Okay. So, like, is there a limit? Is there an actual limit to this? Seems like there isn't. Seems like you can... You can go all around town? You can do whatever you want, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, yellow? That's the limit. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, okay. It's just very, very generous. It's incredibly generous, but, but we can do all of that. Okay. You made it. That's where you send the signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Her neck must be really, really pained right now. It is bent. <laughs> some, some Hawkeye protocol shit. <laughs> Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Loss condition. Protect the terminal until self-defense system Aegis is activated. Damage to the terminal was shown in the top left. 
the defense gauge is depleted, or if one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Okay, no loss of character or defense gauge. Gauge. Uh, switching pilots, D-pad. With left and right. So again, some actions have movement with them. Like that. Oh. Okay. Make sure that you're targeting as many as you as can. As many as possible, yeah. Uh, so if I back it up to like this corner. Or we gotta leave two behind either way. Okay. Well, look, it's targeting one unit actually. So. And yet there's an L1 and R1. To, 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 icon? To, spe to specify who I want to attack. So I'm punching right now with one unit, so that's Heavy Knuckles. Oh, I thought it was the, the range of the attack that was displayed. Uh, that was Heavy Knuckles, so it's gonna punch, I think, one specific thing. Whereas, let's see, if we grab the, the gun, uh, we can choose just an yeah we're not moving we're just sh choosing everything in this in this uh thing right here okay attacks kaiju within target area in front of the sentinel with the machine cannons right and then if we did the launchers that would look like this everything in this circle over mm -hmm. here back attack Ooh, multiplier 1.5 gotcha okay cool all right, well, this is how we learn a system, right? Gotta try it. And hmm, maybe she can handle the group and he can come punch this. Maybe. Since that melee is good for one. So let's do that. And the pushback. Uh oh. Oh, from over there. Uh. All right, he gets a turn. She's not. So that thing on the southwest end exploded. But what about the one on top? This one. That's still there. Okay. The things around it uh, blew up. It's still alive. Yeah. G molar. Uh. Oh shit. Oh. Time. Okay. Okay. Oh, this so is gotta move. This is why you gotta pause time. Oh, I pause time. Okay. So you can't analyze the situation because it's active. Um, until without pausing, rather, mm -hmm. I should say. Uh, so what I wanted to do was select one of them and get a description here. The armored casual specializes in close combat. At 35 meters, it processes both massive weight and power. Range attacks such as rapid fire guns aren't very effective. It's best to take it down with close quarter attacks. Okay. And it has headbutt. And these small crawling kaiju equipped with a low output beam gun. Weakest among the kaiju, it's still 8 meters in length. Major threat to humans, moves in packs, low durability. Area attacks are effective. This is the first one I we saw before, I think. Okay. Got it. Okay. What now? So, let's help her out with rocket launcher, perhaps. Will that cover? Or that? Let's get these up. Now, is she going to get hit by that? Is there friendly fire? I guess we'll find out, right? I hope not. It ooh, doesn't ooh, ooh, ooh. Seem Look at that. Hold up. We can get a nice selection right there. There we go. Keep an eye on her. And could you have moved before doing that shot? Yes, so but I got have everything. Lined up. Yeah, okay. So you could have lined up everything. I could have probably... Shot. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So she did not take damage from that. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, she's fine. And yes, you can exactly line up when you need to. 
Oh, the thing is moving. Uh, okay, I think the little circle around them represents their ATB. So sure. when he gets his next turn is when that circle is going to fill back up. She was under attack while hers was still going. So that's that's what the time on the attacks probably is, right? Things that cool down? Maybe, maybe. Uh, let's see if there's a anything written about, for example, that. Wow, full manual here on the pause screen. That's that's wild. Okay, story character Thank introduction. My eyes. Okay. That's fine. I, I don't mind. I don't mind seeing people. That's that's okay. Uh, just for battle. Oh, system menu, maybe. No. Uh, hold on a second. Title screen. System menu 10. And destruction is 16. Uh, so. 10. That's not the one. No, that's just the menu. Going. And. Yes, when we're in the fights. Uh, stage the selection. Wave and battle style difficulty. Okay. Terminals need to be defended. Team organization. Trend analysis. Flow of battle. Uh, here we go. Kaiju will appear wherever the meteors drop. They make their way towards the terminal. What is... Four is on the portrait, I think. Sentinel Generation, HP, EP, uh, Kaiju HP, the stage. Controlling the si wait time, controlling the Sentinel. Sentinels on the strike team can wait take time. action to, through selecting commands on page 21 once their wait time ends. Wait time, okay. Uh, yes. Wait time. After using a skill, time will uh, time until the unit can take action again. Yeah. Yeah. So straight up, it's your cooldown number. Uh, duration of additional effects is effect. Lasts time that flares were made on the screen. Armor piercing and HP. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. That's 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 exactly what we thought. Okay. Cool. And if we need any other questions, we've got our little uh, booklet right here. That's nice. Anything relevant on page 20 or 22? Destroying the kaiju. Okay, victory. No, that's results. Fine. 22. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to not see anything we shouldn't see okay. yet. You know, I'm a little bit concerned that we might get, but like, we got the info we're looking for. That's fair. I just wanted to. We can keep going. Then. Yeah, I know there's more info to get by reading through the whole thing, but I, you know, I don't. I, I also. Yeah, again. That's fair. Know. It would I, suck if there were spoilers in there. Yeah, but let's but, not but take a chance. I also don't mind like trying and failing and then learning from that and going, oh, what did I assume and what was it wrong? And mm. then, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, so this is better off for melee, but he's currently recovering. So let's just come and we can do this. attack it. Right? Oh, there's a little health bar under the enemy. Okay. I think. We can drop a sentry gun, or we can just... Oh, we're, we're so close, let's just shoot it. So movement. Who's there? Are you fighting? Is that badass senpai? That, the voice sounds like like it might be, uh, and the hair seems. The hair though. That's something else. Um. Okay. So. Yeah. Move plus attack for certain things gives you like that the, the ability to to get in there and and I noticed that like um. While we were moving, time resumed, so it kept moving forward. So so attacking seems to stop time once you do it, but movement kept time going. Do you understand? Okay. So, I maybe we're wrong about that. Let's keep an eye on it the second time, but it looked like time stopped during an attack, but it actually kept going while, while walking around. Okay. So, if you don't have to move into position, 
to line up your shots, take the shot from where you are probably because you lose time if you have to walk over to somewhere. Is my is my okay. you know what I mean? I so, guess we'll have to see. So it's not fully turn based. It's it's it is active. Okay. Got it. So far, we'll keep an eye out. That's that assumption might totally be wrong. You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's sentinel number twelve. Okino's machine. Okino. Okino protocol. Okay. Okino protocol. That's who it was. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino Kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to Wow. Me. Nothing less, eh? Alright, badass. Pro tag words. He cut off his comms. Number 12. I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. This way. Follow me. Okay. Leave Jiren to me, says long hair man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Can you cool it? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Too strong. Okay. Too strong. Relax, my dude. Oh, <laughs> God, he's oozing in it. Sure. <laughs> sure. The story of Takatoshi Hijiyama. <sighs> 1944. Whoa. Fucking what? Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. Motherfucker, if kids are coming from different eras of time to the same spot, there doesn't have to be any real consistency then, does there? Holy shit. Okay. We're spanning. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, all, all right, all right. 44. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Kiriko son! Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama kun. Oh. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. I guess you can move. Nothing in the thought cloud. That is an imperial looking uniform. Why did you run Kiriko off? Doji. The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you were the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Mm-hmm. Big ol' okay. fucking underline on that. So, this is a fake Kiriko Doji? Yes, she's not the real one. The real mm -hmm. one is in Tokyo. Okay. She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... I like the little voice you hear when you highlight yeah, yeah, yeah. efforts in the war. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. 
Okay. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... So the Sentinels existed during the war? <laughs> I guess they were developed <laughs> during then. Which... Circa current year is kind of about to wrap up. Not quite done yet, though. Hmm. What does it mean if this isn't her? Ah, now you're in the range of my divination. Thought, my thought process. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. 3D printing. Let's go. But that... <laughs> no, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. Yo, 3D printers and a musk link. <laughs> An Elon plug, that's all you needed. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. Professor Doji led the Sentinel project. His daughter, here, what does it mean if this isn't her? If you're not the real Kiriko, then, then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. Huh? Blush! Yep. I... I... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something's gotta go down for his hair to grow out. <laughs> You're kind of a simple guy. Yeah, There's kind of a simp. About you, though. <laughs> hey! That's not what she meant. That's totally what she meant. What are you even saying? I'm saying I'm gonna miss you. Oh. And then oh. he let his hair grow. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> So, that's it. How are you just gonna be so casual? That's fucked up. <laughs> Stop being so casual about terminatoring out of my timeline. No, you can't just easy breezy beautiful fucking warp Kirk out. <laughs> like, come on. At least give give it some gravitas. Gone. She vanished. Hey, I know you're gonna see things that your brain can't comprehend. The concept of a floating UI in the mid 40s might be a bit much Mind for your blowing. brain. <laughs> Mind blowing! What is this? Right? Actual magic, but you can just ease them through it at least a little bit. God. Like, no matter what she's hiding, that's an asshole way to play it. <laughs> just cash. That's impossible. Well, might as well hit the shrine. Ring a bell. Yeah, pray. Pray. <laughs> pray to a fox and hope that you get some kind of fucking clarity. Shit's wild. This way? This way. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. No, no, she, she blew, she, she was glowing, and she evaporated, surrounded by HUD. She didn't run away. Where did Kiriko-san go? You saw her, <laughs> her opacity shifted to zero. <laughs> her blending nothing. options increased the glow to maximum. Someone's coming. He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Also, you might as well stop calling her Kiriko. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? 
If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Okino. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Not 85. No, dude. No, just just leave. Just fucking it's not, leave. It's not worth it. You want nothing to do with that. <laughs> this is your chance, man. Okay. All right. Hey. <laughs> um. 